Hello and welcome. Now and next I am planning to show you that how to open this cylinder head cover. And first what I need to do is to open these four bolts in here what are in there and and I have already taken those three out and there is fun left and for that I need a socket what size is uh, uh, 3 divided 8 inches and uh, I install this socket in that bolt and I, I open open that bolt okay and next next step is to take this uh, this plastic cover out and we continue okay and then when we are do it, doing this job it it important that we take this uh, uh, battery minus gable away and for that we need friends what the size is uh, 13 millimeter and that friends fits in here and, and we, we take battery cable away that in this way and, and then we can continue okay and next step is to take this plastic cover out and then, and then when we are taking this cylinder head cover out we need to take these uh, ignition coils in here out and also spark plugs out out and we start to take those out and here is a bolt what size is again uh, 3 divided uh, 3 divided 8 and same as 10 millimeter and I install this socket in here uh, and now this This is, there was that kind of bolt, and then there is this small clipper, and I press that in, in here, in this, and then this, uh, this wire goes away, and then I can lift this, this ignition coil. Okay, and then I need to do that same thing all of those ignition coils and when I have take those out we continue okay and now now I have take all of these ignition coils away and then the next step is that that uh, there are a couple of pipes and hose, one in here and then, then also one in, in here. We need to take also these, uh, these pipes away and there is idea and there is the small this small uh, pin that you press in your fingers and then, then this pipe opens and here is same idea you press your fingers and then pipe away and then you install this pipe carefully little bit away and please sure that, that those those metal pins don't don't go lost and then the next step is that we need to take also this uh, spark plugs wires out and there is one and two bolts what is in 
in Toyota way it is three divided eight so get again and this fits in here and I open also those two bolts and then I use that kind of friends tool okay and it is it is open and then I have also smaller bar where I can use my hands this is kind of also very easy to do and okay and there there was that kind of bolt and then I take that that bolt also away and and when I have take that away we we continue okay and now I have take those two bolts away in there and we can move this wire cable in there okay and next next step is then that we need to open these bolts in here what are in in just in here is first one then second and here is third and then fourth and just in behind of in here here is fifth fifth in here and and here is uh, six and seven and eight. One, two, three, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, eight bolts. We need to open eight bolts, and let's look also those those little bit what is in here and here are also those couple of bolts are in there and they are also they are e very easy to take out and again in here we have in this Toyota way we have again the same socket what size is 3 divided 8 and this widths in here also and let's go to take those bolts out okay and I start I start in this bolt what is in here there is uh, this bolt what is just in there and uh, I start in this bolt and uh, this which in there and then a little bit move and and this bolt opens easily this Toyota's bolts opens normally very easily they are so high quality material and workmanship can he there was that kind of bolt and then I continue I go to that bolt and I open also that okay and, and I, I continue to also those other eight bolts and when I am ready we continue and we look at what we do next Okay, and now there is only one bolt left, and I open that bolt in here, and it is it is in here. Okay, and now now we have opened all of those bolts, and next next we we need to. Next we need to take this cover 
cover out in this cover and and how this happened it happens so that that you need uh, some wooden block and because we need to sometimes this this can this, this opens so that that I move a little bit but now this cover is stuck and it, it don't move and we need wooden lock what we use like hammer and, and here I have I have one wooden lock what I use a little bit hammer this aluminium block and, and let's look what happened and then by the way uh, and we we okay and then when we have take all of these egg bolts out there is two bolts left in there in this central area and there is this first and there is the second and there is the same socket three divided eight fits also in these bolts and we open also those bolts and, and this, this was very easily not very this was not they were very loosened there was not not much moment and when we install these bolts back we need to use this moment tool because otherwise we we can destroy these bolts and also this cylinder head cover and what kind of bolt is here interesting to see is this very okay and it's very it's 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 now open and, and there there is idea that these bolts they I think that they don't go out and please leave those bolts in okay and please leave these bolts in in here don't don't uh, pull those out this is fine and then next step is that that we we need to start <coughs> we need to start to move this in that head first in our hands in, in this way and, and when this cylinder head is stuck it's stuck in here we need to hammer a little bit this cylinder head using that kind of uh, wooden lock Cover opens and okay and and I continue this hammering and we continue soon. Okay and then when this uh, cylinder head cover is normally stuck and 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 uh, very thick then and there is glue in there between this cylinder head cover and then this cylinder head we need to do then next next uh, uh, trick and hint that we can take this cylinder head cover away because uh, 
now there is important thing that there is this uh, cylinder head gasket in in just inside of this uh, cylinder head cover and we need to protect that gasket and we have to be really carefully carefully that that we don't uh, destroy that gasket when we open this cover and then we we need a special tool like a small screwdriver where is that kind of head what is uh, very sharp and ideal is that that you could ins insert okay and, and and there is also possibility that if you have some old knife like that kind of knife where is not very sharp this this uh, knife you insert then this knife in just in here and then we take a little bit closer picture that in what area you insert that knife just in this is cylinder head cover and this is cylinder head and just in here and you insert that in that way that in because in, in just in here is this this uh, gasket and we we can little bit open this cover so far away that, that we, we might hit pretty very carefully this bolt and this then you need hammer that you can hammer this this uh, knife and I insert that knife in there and then a little bit hammer and as you can see this cover opens and then we need to do same thing in this other side what is just in there but there this situation is different I can't insert this knife in there because there are wires and this fuel pipe and I need to use this small screwdriver what I insert now in in here in uh, in that way I insert it is just in there and, the, and I, I try to be so carefully that I don't destroy this uh, gasket in inside in there and I insert that tool in there and then a little bit hammer again I take my hammer and a little bit little bit hammer that second try and there what is the place it's of course interesting to see I insert that in just in there there is this place where I insert this hammer and okay and, and I insert that in there and then I okay and it it opens nicely this cover moves moves now okay and then then we need to do that opening also this back area and this back area it is I mean this back area it is just in in here and let's go to look also that area what is in there okay and then we look this back area also and there is the, that point what is in here and for that area I I use in there my hammer but now this hammer other side there are those two hooks and I insert that hammer in there and then I carefully I, I, I insert that in there and then I change this I rotate this hammer a little bit and now this now this cover is open okay and now I think that 
Well, I'm just going to end up ahead is is uh, release and now next we can lift out this uh, cylinder head okay and next next we we think that the cylinder head is uh, released and it is not any more thick then and then I take my both hands in here and I lift this cover that. And now, now there is this uh, this gasket. What I said, and I I take this, and there is take this gasket out in this way, and 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 there is now idea that I will reuse this this gasket. If it if it, it is okay, and, and I use my hand, but okay, there is this. And I use this gasket away, and then remember that. That now this casket is in in right place. And it's it's good to remember that that this this area is up. And also I noticed that there is some silicone glue in in this this area. We need to remember because and when and when you take this little bit out, you can notice where is this glued glue we need to use and we continue okay and then next step is that that we need to have a clean cotton cloth material and we need to clean all of these uh, these gaskets areas in here and also in here we need to take those oil oil oils away in these these parts and there is this uh, in, in this way that this is clean and there is this oil and I need to take this oil oil away in there and also in there and also I need to clean this gasket that I take that in in my hand in here it is in hand and then then I need to clean all of these oils in away in here because next we need this uh, glue what we insert in there and glue this uh, this is special glue and let's go to look this glue that what kind of glue I have and then be carefully when you are in that kind of area where is this oily sand in like in here that you don't drop this oily sand in, in inside of this this area. Clean, clean these things in there and 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 uh, change this your cotton cloth enough to op often that that there is this notice clean in, notice dirty goes inside of this this motor area and uh, and okay and we continue okay and then you need that kind of uh, Loctite or some other good brand uh, this high temperature form a gasket glue and when I open it, there is this uh, glue what looks like that, and that I am planning to insert in there. And there is uh, information in this back area that there there is saying that this glue can last last this uh, in there 
that this can last 315 Celsius this uh, heat and it's like Loctite 1372 or something else and there is also information that it can it can there is this very good pressure pressure skills and abilities in this glue and, and but before of that I need to clean all of these this uh, also this gasket and the side in there and and, I, and here is this uh, side what I mean where this gasket goes and it is in here and I need to clean all of this very carefully and, and then be careful that when here is this sand that you don't drop this sand in inside in there because this sand is very harmful to our motor and next I will clean all of these parts metallic parts and also this gasket using cotton cloth and new cloth and after that we will install this glue in those areas okay and we continue okay and then I have take this whole gasket away and now I I clean this these uh, su surfaces that, that that there is not much this not much this oil I try to take all of those oils away and also in here those central parts and because I, I don't and and of course you can you could purchase new new gasket and then it works better but I think that we could use that and now I think that this is clean and then then I need to insert this Loctite gasket glue and and I start this glue in this central areas those spark plug holes and I insert that in not too much and let's let's look there is this Just in every, every part, and then you, if there is extra, you can take this out in this cotton cloth and. One. And then be careful that you don't insert this glue in too much because then then this glue goes in this motor area only in this metallic plates and then in there Okay, then this last, last part. Okay, and now, now I have insert this glue in there, and then I need to insert this glue in, in here. I start in here, and actually, it, it is. Uh, it is good to use a little bit finger okay and I, I and then a little bit smoothly in all of these metallic plates and and, and next I I will do this 
pull part and then we continue. Okay, and now I have installed this glue in all areas in there. And um, I have to say that this glue is is not maybe the best solution because this this glue looks quite uh, interesting. But I will test that now. And but in to you, I recommend that you you purchase new gasket and. In, insert new new gasket in this cylinder head. But let's let's look at how this works and and next step is that that I need to install this 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 gasket back and there was thing that in some point there was this old glue and it's easy to remember that that this goes in in that way firstly and this this lower area in here is this most critical and then I insert this old gasket in this this places This way. Okay. And especially this this area is important because it is lower. Then I press this gasket in there. Interesting to see that how this works, and then this central central part, I press this in there. That I don't like those leaks. Okay. Soft press and and, and this way. Maybe I had a little bit too much glue, but but let's see. And, and then when this is finished, I take this cylinder head cover and I insert that in back. Okay, and here is the cylinder head cover, and I take that oil, oil knob in there and then I insert that in carefully. There is this, this support bolts and first in there and just in there and then, then carefully in same same side. There was something wire a little bit so let's look at how how it how it how it went. And then it, it's important to check all all parts that that this that this this casket is in okay. Then, when you think that everything is fine, 
So I think that there is some 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 parts in here. I need to reassemble. Okay. Okay, and then, then I think that I I reject this again. Is still everything fine? I like I reject that. Is this this casket in okay? And this this casket. Looks to be looks to be okay and then we can start to thicken this bolt and I will also show to you how this gasket is there. There's this there is this gasket and also in there and just in there. I think that I have now a little bit maybe too much this gasket glue but I think that this glue might become solid and it will be in there and I think that this 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 uh, glue has been work quite quite nicely okay and then then I insert this cover back again and and we we have next step to tick them those bolts but uh, but I have to say that uh, in, in now I recommend to everybody else that that it is may better to purchase new gasket and insert that in in there and 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 please insert this new gasket in these holes and then you only drop that in there because now when I I I insert this old gasket in there and glue in there it is not not the best way and but in next time I will purchase new gasket and I insert that gasket in this hole and then it's really easy to drop like in this way but let's let's see that that how this works if if there is any oil leaks then I have to take this this uh, cover open again and change the new gasket okay. It's in there. It's in back, back in there. And yeah, I think that it's it's okay. And then I start to thicken in. That I thicken these bolts in here. First, those two. We start in there. And here was this special moment. But I, I think that it is not much. It's very. I picked them both, of course. And 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 this. I check this moment, and we continue. Okay, and then then I I have here this my. Moment, moment two, and and here is my moment tool, and I am planning to use this uh, 10 LPF foot.
this moment. It is very, not very much in there. There's 20 and 0 and 20. And I, I use only 10. And I start in here and all bolts goes to this 10 LPF. LPF foot. And I first detected this first bolt and, and uh, I do so that a uh, couple of turns that right one and then the left one okay and then continue When I I thicken this bolt, I check all time this measurement. That when it goes, it moves in here, and it's something like five now. A little bit more. Okay, and I, this is very basic moment tool. This is not very expensive cost. And now, when you look this this um, this arrow, it tells that it is almost ten. And now, now I am happy that these bolts are okay. Also, that one. Okay, and it's also ten. And then next step is to install back all of these, uh, these smaller bolts, what I mean that side, and they go goes in here. This way. And there is that one and it goes in here. It goes in here. Then this one, this one, this is some special place. Now check again. This this longer goes in in here. Okay, and, and when I have inserted those bolts, we continue. Okay, and, and this smaller nuts goes in these corners there is that one and second one to another corner in there okay, and first we insert all of those bolts and nuts and then we start to dig them those and we continue okay and now now I have installed all of those bolts in there Eight bolts, and then start this thickening. And this is like normal cylinder head thickening that we start in this central area, and we thicken first in that one, and then second in here, in back, and then in here, in down, and then this corner, corner in there, and then this corner in here, and. And this one in here, and 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 that one in in there. And now I start to use this moment, and this moment in here is again this ten, ten, not very much. And I start in this bolt, and I I think then it it like half rotation. And then I go in here down, and I check all time this moment tools, this amount that there is maximum, this 10, then, and then I go in here, and I tick then that, half rotation, and then I go in, back in here, and 
but then in here down this one and and then I go in here and then in here Then in here, okay, and now I have taken all of these and this turn again. I start in here. Now I have this one in there, and I, I check all time this moment that, that this moment must be this then like when we look in here this is only only ten not not twenty okay then back in here and I I think that this so long that I can't anymore give more this force because this then is this maximum Okay, this one here, okay. This was, this was by the way already too thick and I saw that, that how much there is now this measurement shows that, that there is just 10 and I can't move this anymore because this this measurement goes too too high and this is like this is just now in moment then okay and I I double check all of these that they are in this moment okay then this one so this is also And then that one. It was also. In that I can little bit move more. Also this. Then I check also this central bolts. Now they are a little bit loosen. I can thicken this more. Okay. And then, then next step is that we need to insert back in this electric cable what was in here, and then. Then these cables, that cable first, and we press this, this in here, and then the second cable in just in here, it goes in, in here. Okay, now notice. Now these pipes are okay, and then only we check that this is thickened. 
Okay, and then, then this. We have these bolts, and they they goes in 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 here. There is this first one, and, and then this second second one in there. And and this moment is same in here. This ten, ten LBF, and I use this friends. Okay, and then this one. Okay, good, and then I distance these bolts and why, why I use this moment tool is also that, that I don't destroy those aluminium bolts those screws in there those, those threads Okay, and now they are ticked. Then the next part is that we insert those ignition coils back, and we continue. Okay, and then next step is to insert these ignition coils back. This was first one, then second, and third. and fourth okay and then carefully those wires back that we hear this click 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 and then next step is to insert these bolts in back bolts back And then I need to take them these bolts. And I use that friends again. That, that, that one also. Okay, and, and here was the difficulties. I'll take this wire away, and then I then I adjust this again. There was a trick that I need to lift this this back area wire. Interesting. Interesting. There is okay and then third one. And then this fourth one. And then when this is ready, we can start this engine and check that do we have any leaks, oil leaks in there. But if you use new gasket in this cylinder cover head, then I think that you don't have any leaks. But it's good to check. And, and again, 
10 LBF feet is this moment. Okay. And then I check that all wires as a back and this click is now nice and then then I need to of course remember to hook up this this uh, battery back in there and I connect this battery pack okay and and then then I start the engine and we check that do we have any leaks okay and then then I go to start this engine and we check that do we have any leaks in here okay and, and I start the engine and we check that that how our glue sealant has been worked Okay, and this first, first, first look was that that there was no any leak, and I, I am very happy if this is really true. Of course, I trust those Loctite products because Loctite, those sealing glues come from UK, England and English are very good to do those chemical products and then we check also this this upper this area exhaust pipe area is there any leaks and we we continue okay and then we check that do we have here any leaks and I can't see any leaks yet and then it's important that when we when we have this glue in there that we need to warm up this car I think that at least 30 minutes that that this glue start to work and I, I let this motor to run 30 minutes and then we check the result again and we continue thank you